I'm a professional procrastinator as well. I put stuff off. I put everything off. We all put stuff off, but I put everything off. If I hide it under my bed, that's what I do with stuff I don't want to deal with. I just hide it under my bed. I got that letter, that letter that every woman in Great Britain dreads. You know, you are, you're already clenched. You know what it is. <laughs> I got that letter that said, Ashley, you need to come in for your smear test. So like, oh, I don't want to. <laughs> don't want to do that. Going to put that under my bed. <laughs> but then I started to panic. I started to worry because I'm a hypochondriac. I've had super gonorrhea three times, even though I've never had sex. <laughs> <laughs> One in three women, I'm not alone. One in three women in this country who are eligible for a smear test do not go for their smear test because they're ashamed or embarrassed. And I was one of the women. So I went to my doctor. But she said it's been eight years since you've been for a smear test. Eight years. I did my first one and I never went back because it was that horrifying. Eight years. And I hopped up in the bed. Have you ever been for a smear test, sir? Horrendous. <laughs> first thing the day is a woman who's your district nurse who always has a mono brow goes, breathe like you don't know that already. <laughs> You lie in the bed, you pop your legs up, they put a thing inside you that looks like a duck-billed platypus. <laughs> it's called a speculum. And the thing they don't prepare you for is the noise. <laughs> they prepare you for everything but the noise. <laughs> and you're lying there and all you can hear is you're like, surely that's wide enough now. <laughs> surely you've stretched my wee hole wide enough now. No. Nah. Uh, surely that's wide enough now. I feel like Mrs. Maguire who peed in the Clyde and all the wee fishies swam up her backside. <laughs> surely that's enough now. Nah. Uh, and they reach up. <laughs> and they scrape a bit of your cervix out. And then they send it away to an NHS lab. And then for 28 days, you wait and find out if you've got abnormal cells. And for 28 days, you neither have cervical cancer nor don't have cervical cancer. <laughs> for 28 days, you live with Schrodinger's pussy. <laughs> <laughs> My point being, they're magical mystery boxes. <laughs> Let a stranger take a key cup, it'll save your life. I've been Ashley Story. Live long and prosper and good night. <laughs>